for another test of the 12 gram Micromag. Since last time I have added a, well, cram and jam feed so I don't have to hand load it anymore. And I replaced the stock spring with one from an invert mini. It's one of the Tech T kits. I used one of the shorter springs. I don't know exactly where that puts it on the stiffness scale. But it's definitely a lot lighter than a stock mag spring. So we'll see what difference that makes. I was shooting earlier. I had this around 270. Uh, it varies a good bit. But I'm going to leave it exactly where it is for now. And then just see how many shots we get out of it. I'm just using the standard Crosman 12Bs. I did break paint earlier when I was testing. If that happens again, I'll just shoot through it for now. Decently focused. Two, six, three. Two, five, six. Six, two, five, eight, two, five, four. Now, if this acts like it did last time, it'll spike back up in a bit. Two, five, seven. Oh, that's a bummer. I'll keep going. Two, five, seven. So that was 10 rounds. Toss awesome another tube on. And keep going. 261. 250. 237. So that just dropped a lot. Five six two three six three twenty. Yeah, it's a bummer that loosened up. I think that just cost me pretty heavily. Two two four. Let's just finish off this tube. new seal on the puncture pin. Let's see if I wait a moment, hold the 12 gram. Might be able to squeeze some more shots out. I shot three full tubes last time before I was recording. 240. try again later. Um, previously when I was testing it out, oops, I was able to get about 30 shots. Not all of them are great, but a lot better than this time. So, I'll uh, check the seal on the puncture pin and try again.